with this situation with J. Cole, um, <clears throat> the reason why I'm so fucking upset with this nigga is because I came on this same show uh, Friday and I was so in support of J. Cole. I said, hey, maybe we didn't look at him for the GOAT conversation. Maybe he's been rapping his ass off for a very long time. He has classic albums. He's done all these great things. Maybe we haven't been giving him the look unjustly. And then the fact that he's willing to step in the ring with Kendrick and put gloves on and lyrically spar. Nobody was looking at this shit. Matter of fact, that was one of the things I said on the show too. I said the most exciting thing I'm I am I'm that that I'm having, you know, with these guys going back and forth is that you know it's not gonna be no violence you know behind it. You know what I'm saying? These guys aren't gonna wanna take each other out. Like it's gonna just be good and be good for hip hop. So nobody was ever looking at it like it was gonna be anything more than that you know what i'm saying um so then it comes out the the response from the world was lukewarm at best i genuinely thought it was good i was on the side of it i was edging him 1-0 um but you know most people hip-hop pundits the buttons of the world the charlemagne's of the world the clues of the world the, <laughs> everybody like nobody genuinely liked this guy's um um bars like you see what i'm saying good podcasting um so nobody you know what i'm saying was really really feeling it then I, and i want to play it because there was no music playing in the background when he said it right everything was was kind of i believe it was just okay. audio it was just audio so yeah. i want to hear so then he has this thing called what what you mean Pull it play it on the computer so they hear it perfectly. oh okay hold on a second um j cole i want y'all to hear what he said apology this shit, man. But that's what I'm saying. A lot of these are are like reactions. That's what I'm saying. I could just play it from the phone and just put it up there. You sound super disappointed in jail. Uh, come on. I, I got it. Let's just do it this way. It'll just be easier. It's for the best. All right. So I'm going to just play it. And he did this at his Dreamville like festival where he like, this is like your shit, bro. Like, Okay. All right. All right, here we go. I'm going to just play it. Oh, hold on. Actually, hold on a second. I forgot because I got the West McCall open. That's kind of... All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Here we go, guys. All of that shit led me up until this point, 10 years later after this song, I'm here, here I am. I've been, I've been just chasing my shit, you know what I mean? Like, like following my dream and just trying to like head to the fall off in a way that I wanted to do it. And so I put out this project on Friday called Mike Delete Later. I don't know how many people done checked it out or whatever, but I put this project out. And I swear to God, I'm so proud of that project because I know one, it's just a lead up. It's just an EP that leads me up to this thing that I've been working on for a long time. And I know the work it took to get to a certain type of skill level. And I love this shit. So I, that shit means a lot to me, right? So I'm so proud of this project. Except for one part. It's one part of that shit that make me feel like, man, that's the lamest shit I ever did in my fucking life, right? And I know this is not what... A lot of people want to hear. I know I can hear my niggas up there right now like, nah, nah, I don't do that. But I got to keep it 100 with y'all, right? I damn near had a relapse, right? Because y'all heard some shit that happened two, two, three weeks ago, however long it was. Y'all heard that bazooka that was dropped on the motherfucking game, right? So all of this time of me moving on my own accord, for the first time I was tested. Why am I tested? Because I got the world... And I got my niggas like, what you gonna do, Cole? <laughs> my niggas like, big boy, I must have had a thousand missed calls. Oh my fucking God. Text flooded. I couldn't even answer my shit. Nigga, it's wartime. Boom, 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 right? Project. I don't really feel no way. But the world want to see blood. I don't know if y'all can feel that, but the world want to see blood. So I say all of that to say... In my spirit of trying to like get this music out, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I moved in a way that was that I feel spiritually feel bad on me. Like, like I try to like jab my nigga back and I try to keep it friendly, but at the end of the day, 
when I listen to it and when it comes out and I see the talk, that shit don't sit right with my spirit. That shit make me feel, that shit disrupts my fucking peace. So what I want to say right here tonight is in the midst of me doing that and in and, and that shit, trying to find a little angle and downplay this, this nigga's fucking uh, catalog and his greatness. I want to say right now tonight, how many people think Kendrick Lamar is one of the greatest motherfuckers that ever touched a fucking microphone? Dreamville, y'all love Kendrick Lamar, correct? I don't really feel no way. I pray that y'all are like, forgive a nigga for like the misstep and then, and then I can get back to my true path because I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Past two days felt terrible. Like, it let me know how good I've been sleeping for the past 10 years. So all of that to say, man, I want to I wanna now perform the song. Okay. What are your thoughts, YDB, before I, before I go? What are your thoughts? Because I already know I'm going to be so <clears throat> probably further on the other side of the fence than you. So how do you feel about that, what you just heard? This might surprise you. Okay. But like, nigga, what the fuck? <laughs> What type of shit is that? <laughs> you almost choked on your coffee. Like, I get that's your people's, you know, it's your 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 friend. But nigga, stand on your shit like two days, like you can't sleep, nigga. Go take an ambient, like <laughs> some melatonin, if you will. Yeah, hop, and hop off Twitter, like that's it. Like what? Like that, 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 in my opinion, that's weaker than not dissing the nigga. You know what I mean? You could have just not put the song out, you know, and then like, I don't, and in my, and, and I don't think it's the, 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 the mild reaction from people that's causing him to say that. I think it's the fact that he's, he's, he feels like he's feeding into it, like the, you know, like the getting a reaction type right. shit. Which in his head is like he's feeding into the internet side of it, but like I mean, you're not though. If a nigga calls you out on a song, like nigga, why are you apologizing to a nigga that called you out on a song? You know what I mean? No, and 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 <clears throat> yeah, and and I'm 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 a lot I'm a lot Seven more minute apology. I'm I'm whoa sorry. That's I'm funny more that. on the aggressive side of it. So here's my thing. First of all. Like you said, I would have rather you just not said anything back yeah. than you just do this fucking ridiculous, stupid shit that you're doing right now. You look ridiculous. And when I say this, I'm not talking about the man as a person. I don't know the man. I'm not. This is not for me to attack him as a person. This is for me to talk about how you're moving as a hip hop and artist and just how you look. It just looks ridiculous. And this is what I genuinely don't like. I genuinely don't like when people do lame shit. You know what's lame about what he's doing right now? You're sitting here and you're talking about how bad you feel and oh, how this and oh, how this. Did you have that same energy when you made a whole fucking song dissing Kanye West, the false prophet shit, and you were talking crazy about him? Or was that just because everybody else kind of felt that way? And that was so. Don't act like. Don't get on this moral high ground shit now. That now you just feel terrible because you said mean things about. No, you said some shit about a nigga a couple years ago, but it was cool because everybody was rocking with it, and you just felt like that was some shit that you could get off. As far as this shit with Kendrick, like nigga, I, I'm starting to just be like, and nigga, this is me. Time stamp this clue. This is me and having to do what I don't like to do, but I'll do it when I'm wrong. I'll admit it. Kendrick looking like the goat right now. Currently, it's like if 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 hip hop is a a boxing league, if it's boxing, he's the current undefeated champion because when the nigga come outside and say who want to play don't nobody step up and for this nigga to make a nigga diss him and two days later get on stage and say sorry he got you rap niggas shook all of them and i hope drake is getting his shit together so he can come back and at least throw his bars but because hold on come on bro we just talked about this so what i'm saying is get your shit off like, i hope drake is fully loaded, gets in the ring because this applies to him too. You don't get to sit this one out either. Nigga, like it's a it's an irrational thought process when you think about it. But that's just what hip hop is. Niggas don't get can I have this please? 
Thank you. It, it, you know what I'm saying? It's 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 an irrational process of uh, of shit. Hip, other artists don't do that. Like you see what I'm saying? Like other like other genres of music don't diss each other. They don't they don't get you know what I'm saying? Go back and forth. That's what we do in hip hop on the corners in Brooklyn and and different places. Like that's what this shit is built on. Don't try to rewrite what hip do, hip hip hop history is. And if you don't want to get in the ring, then just don't. Just say that's not me. I don't diss my friends. I don't. But for you to get up there and just embarrass yourself, you look ridiculous. You look just soft as baby shit. Like, and it is just like, and Kendrick just looks like he's the nigga that don't nobody want. So when niggas talk that goat shit, I gotta just shut up. I gotta just say Drake's my favorite rapper because I can't. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if 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 one of the elements of this hip hop shit is battling. And this nigga is outside, like nigga, what's up? He been poking at Drake for you. He been poking at everybody. Everybody is scared shitless of this nigga. So he got to be able to have it. So what was your what was your thought? I don't think J Cole is scared of him. I just think he's um, sad that how he's just uh like what's the word apologetic? Like how you say apologetic? Apologetic. Apologetic. Yeah, he's just apologetic of the fact that. He reacted in the way that he did rather than, um, you know, just how he reacted to it and the things that he said. I don't think he's, like, afraid of what Kendrick's going to respond to him and, you know, that type of, like, you know, he's he literally said, you know, my chin's out, you know. Take your which shot. Which is crazy. Um, I got a take on this. Go ahead, too. Let's hear it. So... What he apologized for was what what I what I took note on. He apologized for downplaying his catalog. He didn't apologize for dissing him. He right. apologized for downplaying his catalog. He said, "I know his catalog's great, but I downplayed it." And I think he's taking a stand on okay, which I know you I know you understand this. You don't like black men tearing down black men. So a, a powerful black man saying another powerful black man who's made amazing and great contributions to this game and he te tears his catalog down not him like if he battled him as a battle like just went at him but i think the fact that when he told when he said your your albums are weak and he knows they're not that's where he was like fuck bro like i'm really telling people out here that his albums ain't shit when i know i fuck with his albums like that i think that's where he was just like that that's what's not cool. Like, the the dissing they could have done, but he ain't got to lie about bro's catalog and, and downplay it like as if it's not dope and it's not what it is. And I think that's where he was standing on. Like, I don't think he was apologizing for the, the diss track in, in totality, but more along the lines of, I shouldn't have downplayed his catalog because this is a, a black man who's made a lot of contributions and done great things. And I shouldn't have tore that down. And I get what you're saying with that. And that was that was very well put. But this is where I'll be on. I'm like, man, fuck all that shit. Like, don't nobody <laughs> want to hear that shit. Like, this is a battle, bro. Like, and if, if, if niggas don't know that, nigga, when you're in battle, nigga, we're going to say things. We're going to embellish facts. Like, nigga, this ain't true statements. And if you're not built for that, sit your ass down and don't do this. Stay riding your bike through the city and ride your bike to church where it's safe, nigga. Don't get, because, nigga, what Kendrick is showing me is Kendrick is not really a nigga to be played with. Nigga, if you rapping, nigga, you rapping against a nigga. It ain't like the nigga was disrespecting a nigga dead homie or something like nigga he said nigga your albums was weak if we battling nigga i feel like your album's weak this is another thing i want to say about this no i don't feel like this is one thing that i learned as a young nigga always pay attention to what people say when they drunk and when they mad because that's when people lose their filter to, to 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 keep back what they really trying to say when a person say something when they drunk because i'm nigga, i'm a recovering alcoholic i've said plenty of things when i was drunk they're never really far from the truth though because that's when you're what they say a, a drunk Mind speak is a sober tongue, whatever that sober, what do you know? You know what the shit that they be saying. And when somebody gets mad, now they just finna really tell you how you feel because when I'm not mad, I got that that shield that's gonna protect your feelings. So I don't think that when he got dissed, all of a sudden he just went and manufactured a way that he didn't feel. No, nigga, you just really showed us how you felt and now you don't really wanna stand on it. That's what I don't respect about it. Nigga, that's how you really feel. Don't get up here and talk about, oh, and I downplayed his catalog. And, the nigga, you just think his shit is weak and that's cool. Don't get up here and just, uh, that's so, <clears throat> I get irked. When niggas just can't keep the same energy, bro. 
Just keep the same energy. Like, just, okay, you're in a battle, bro. It's cool. And, this, and if this is what hip-hop is in 2024, I don't want to be a fan of it anymore. It's just too soft. Like, nigga, god damn. Like, what? <laughs> gotta, like, nigga, you got to set. You in the middle of a show talking about, man, give it up for Kendrick. Man, they need this shit. Nigga, shut the fuck up. You sound ridiculous, and I'm saying this on some hip-hop shit, not to J. Cole as a man, because as a black man, you successful, you putting people on, man, that ain't what we talking about right now. This is hip-hop, nigga. If you don't want to get in that field, take your fucking helmet off and sit your ass on the bench, but don't sit here and get up here with all this kumbaya talk, all because you second-stepping what you did. You should have did all that before you put it out. Don't put it out, then backstep it, and, oh, man, and I just felt, man, and it's just my, and oh, man, I ain't sleep. I sure nobody want to hear all that shit. I got Don't questions. nobody want to hear half of that shit. You going to rap with the nigga, rap with the nigga. If not, shut up. Just <laughs> shut up. We don't want to hear all this shit. We're not here. Nigga, we didn't come to your concert, because now I feel like you playing with the fans' emotions. Two days ago, niggas was ready to ride with you. Oh, nigga, let's go. It's up, nigga. And then now, nigga, you had a sold-out concert saying sorry. <laughs> Go I, ahead, man. Get, your, get your thoughts and off, And I man. agree, too, because, you know, I come from the battle rap world, so I think you in a battle battle, and I think it's all gloves off, and, and, and you could fight dirty if you need. They're talking about, nigga, we the big three, but now I'm starting to feel like Muhammad Ali. How, nigga? How you feeling like Muhammad Ali out here saying sorry? And you took Muhammad Ali would never. <laughs> Muhammad Ali would never. And. More like Mike Tyson. Yeah, for real. Four or five. Would now, you're right. I was hopped up. I was hopped up off the lean. I thought. I thought. I thought J. Cole was, 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 man, just on his bully. I was like, oh, man, this is so. And I was just like, man, this is hip hop. I felt like that before the lean. I was like, oh, man, this is hip hop. He dropped this shit at midnight. Nobody seen it coming. This is great. Kendrick got to respond. Kendrick probably sitting there like, I can't. Kendrick probably like, nigga, it probably just took the fun out of it for Kendrick. Like, nigga. You think? Nigga, he, can he diss him now? Yeah. If he diss oh, him well. now, he got to talk about, nigga, I'll have you on stage. Yeah. And now if he, after the, after and then the he talk about thing. if Kendrick responds, I'll take it on the chin. Man, oh. sit your soft ass down, man. Sit your soft nigga, ass what? down, nigga. You're not built for this, man. And everybody ain't. 